Hey guys, what's up? My name's Scott Price. Welcome to LT Turf. So Scott, if you had to choose a celebrity to take care of your lawn for one month while you were gone on a vacation, who would it be? It would definitely be John Daly. John Daly. And why? So dude loves golf. Grip it and rip it. He could take care of my lawn for me. Okay, so if you could start from scratch out here. Basically, you woke up one day and all this grass was gone. What are you doing? So I'd definitely bring in about 20 loads of topsoil level out the whole place, and bring in a lot more Bermuda grass. Anything, any specific type of Bermuda grass? As long as it's the same Bermuda grass, I don't really care. All the same one type of Bermuda grass? Yeah. I feel you on that one. Got a lot of mixture here. TIFF 419, some common, some God knows who what. <laughs> so this is my front yard. This is a mixture of zoysia and Bermuda grass. When we moved in here in 2012, uh, it was just a mixture of who knows what. A lot of weeds, a lot of bahia, a lot of lespedeza. And uh, spent a lot of time mowing it. Loved the bahia. Was a, was a great looking turf, but didn't really care for it because of the seed heads. So my good friend MSM took care of that and got rid of all the lespedeza and, and, uh, and bahia and now we've got Bermuda across the lawn. So pretty much all Bermuda on the whole three acres. A little bit of, uh, of zoysia here in the front, a few spots over to this side, a little bit in the backyard, and that's about it. All right, so up front we've got uh, a high to cut of three eighths of an inch. I've been cutting that with our Greensmaster 1600 and the Greensmaster 1000. Here where we're standing, we've got a height to cut of seven tenths of an inch cut with a John Deere 2653A. In the flower beds here, we've got some white zinnias. In the back, we've got some purple heart. And uh, if you guys were here a few months earlier, in the back of this bed, we had some Asiatic lilies. On the two corners, we've got two pink rose bushes. On the other side of the AC unit, we've got the same thing with some zinnias and some purple heart. In the back, we've got some really poor looking dahlias. Uh, Connor, uh, you would be very upset with these. Uh, you know, what happens, happens. A little heat, a little wind, a little fungus. They, uh, they look terrible right now. All right, so here we've got our, uh, our patio, a little bit of a, a rock patio that we built from the rocks here on the property. Uh, in the pots around the lights, we've got some uh, yellow and orange zinnias. In the middle, we've got the fire pit. All right, so here to our left is where all the magic happens. This is the shed that houses all of our mowers, lawn tools, and other equipment. In between that and the, uh, the chicken house, which now houses a cat, tiger lily, as the girls call it, is our uh, strawberries as well as our tomatoes and tomatillos. We're just about done with our summer vegetables, so we're ready to get into fall. We've still got a little bit of bell peppers and jalapeno peppers back there, so looking forward to fall. So this is my backyard. Same as the front yard, we're at uh, 3 8 of an inch here. Uh, we've got the, the beautiful trampoline as well as the river rock base. Not so great for real mowers, but good for fall protection for the kids. Around the edges, we used to be natural, and uh, now we've started to fill in with some Bermuda grass to keep the rocks from falling out. All right, so here in the backyard, we used to have a little bit of an orchard. 
we had some peach trees and some apple trees as well as some pears some uh, fig as well as some apricots but they didn't do very good so here we are growing a little bit more bermuda grass and zoysia grass in this area so sorry for the uh for the bald spots here where the trees used to be we've got trump tower over here to our left thank you mr trump for uh, your generous donation to uh to the property here we've got the creek over here to the left as well as what we call the pool house to the right although we don't have a pool all right so here's the pool house which is where the celebrities like to hang out so here we have the first generation kamado joe on it we've got uh, a few racks of ribs here ready to eat as soon as we get done with this what is your dream mower so although I have the John Deere 2653A, I'd really like to have a Greensmaster 5510. What's your favorite movie that has some kind of a relation to lawn care or turf care of some type? I definitely have to say Fill the Dreams. What's your favorite YouTube channel? It's tough. I do watch a lot of YouTube stuff. So I've been watching Millennial Farmer for a long time. If you ever watched him, dude's freaking awesome. I enjoy watching them, so. You guys ever watch Let's Dig 18? No. Pretty cool guy. Chris, over in the Carolinas, does a lot of dirt work. He's a pretty cool guy. <coughs> oh, oh. Left Tool Turf? <laughs> Come check out my equipment. So this is my 2019 John Deere Gator TX 4x2. Bought this this year. I've also got a uh, 60 gallon sprayer in it that I built a boomless nozzle for. Uh, primarily use this for spraying pre-emergence as well as growth regulators on the three acres that we've got here. Occasionally spray a little bit of post-emergent, but for the most part, when the pre-emergent works, we don't need the post-emergent. All right, so here we've got the steel combi 110 system with the iDeck power rotary scissors, the whipper snipper, as well as the edger and the, uh, the garden tiller. On the back, behind the uh, paintbrush there that I use for the back lapping of the triplex, I've got the steel HS45 hedge trimmers. All right, here also we've got the Agrifab 120 pound spreader. We've also got the Lesco 80 pound as well as the Spreader Mate B for, uh, for spraying the PGR on the short grass. Next to that, we've got our arsenal of fertilizer. We've got a little bit of Walmart fertilizer as well as uh, some ammonium sulfate for spraying when we're spraying out our growth regulator as other products on the on the lawn. Next, we've got this steel BR700 leaf blower, as well as the Greensmaster 1600 and the Greensmaster 1000. And then the big beast of the fleet, we've got the 86 inch John Deere 2653A triplex. Next to that, for the rest of the lawn when we end up with any overgrown lawn we've got the bad boy pup 52 inch rotary mower we've also got the unger collapsible bag as well as the gorilla cart and that does it for the most of my equipment when you're mowing you listen to music i don't i listen to the music of the mower the music the mower makes so you like to grill i do How's your tofu burger? Not very good. Have you ever made a tofu burger? I have not. But I'm about to make a black bean burger. Well, come on, come make me one. Let's go. All right, so you've seen my lawn, you've seen my equipment, you've seen the celebrities that hang out in the backyard. Now it's time to get out of here. Get off my turf, get out of here. supposed to do.
do with my hands. <laughs> John put these on there. That's what freaking sucks about John. He finds all the cool he stuff. He finds all this stuff and it's like, I gotta have that. Yeah. <laughs> It's, it's gonna be okay. Yeah.